This tutorial will show you how to create detailed vector eyes, the most common work in character design projects. We are going to start by creating an 800 by 800 pixel document. The first step in drawing the eye is making the iris. Select the ellipse tool and draw a ellipse. We will draw a blue eye so we change the color of the ellipse to a blue color. Next we use the edit path tool to change the ellipse to an irregular shape. We open Layer Panel and change the name of Layer 1 to Iris. Now, we are going to create the pupil of the eye. Right-click on the Iris layer and select Duplicate Current Layer. Change this new shape to black. Use the Select tool and hold the Control key to resize the shape to roughly half the original size. Name this layer Pupil. In the next step, we are going to add some highlight shapes to make the eye become shiny. Draw in white ellipse. Use the select tool to rotate the ellipse about 45 degrees. Then use the edit path tool to create a shape looks like a P. Create a new copy of the shape, rotate it roughly 180 degree. Then, shrink it down slightly and place it below the pupil. Change the opacity of the shape to 60. Do similar steps to create a smaller highlight shape. Now we are going to create some texture for the iris. Add new layer and name it iris texture.
Use straight lines tool to draw a quadrilateral. Click on color palette to change the fill of the shape to white. Hold the shift key and click on color palette to change line of the shape to none. Repeat these steps to create two smaller shapes. Use the Select tool to select three shapes and group them by group command. Select the iris layer and duplicate the blue shape. Move the new shape to the iris texture layer. Hold the shift key to select the iris texture shape. Then right click and select set clip. This will constrain the iris texture to the iris shape. Change the opacity of iris texture to 40. Now, we are going to add some depth to the iris. Select iris layer and duplicate it. Name this layer iris gradient. Select the shape in iris gradient layer, then change the fill to radial gradient. Set the first style color to white. The second stop color is also set to white but the alpha is set to zero. Set the opacity of this layer to 80. Now, we are going to add more depth to iris by using inner glow effect. Set the iris gradient layer to locked and invisible. Select the blue shape in iris layer, then apply the inner glow filter to it. We need some modifications for the inner glow filter. Click on the Filter menu again and select Filter Editor. The Inner Glow Filter contains several basic effects. In the Filter Editor, we can change the parameters for each effect. Select the Gaussian Blur effect and set Standard Deviation to 25. Set color of flood effect to black. Change mode of blend effect to multiply. Set opacity of flood effect to 0 0.05. Then turn the iris gradient layer to unlocked and visible.
For a complete eye, we draw a last shape. Use the ellipse tool to draw an ellipse. Change the color of the shape to F7F6FOFF. Use the Edit Path tool to create an irregular shape. It's similar to creating the iris. Apply the inner glow filter to this shape. We need to modify some parameters for this filter. Filter editor will be used again. Change standard deviation of Gaussian blur effect to 100. Change color and opacity of flood effect. For blend effect, set the mode to multiply. Place the parts together to get a complete eye. Thank you for watching.